Fed up Chicago residents chant, go red, no more blue, no matter who. Yeah, good. Good, thank you, Chicago residents. Now, if you guys can find and ad identify and locate the ballot harvesters and deal with them, that would be great. That would help a lot, okay? Uh, I mean, you guys can't even get your mayoral seat fixed. How the hell are you going to help us win Illinois? A resounding message, go red, no more blue, no matter who, has become the battle cry of frustrated Chicagoans facing neglect from long-standing Democrat leadership. Yes, they are replacing the black community with migrants. Yeah, because look, these guys are just chilling and they're not working. They're not doing any migrants work 18 hours a day, right? For $2 an hour. These guys want $15 minimum wage. Now, yeah, that's why they're replacing them, right? We got to stop the border. We got to stop that replacement, right? This outcry is a combination of pent up grievances, particularly exacerbated by the open border policy. Yeah, did you not realize that open borders meant that you're going to get drowned out, Blackies? Come on, right? Two Chicago aldermen, Anthony Napolitano and Anthony Beal, have co-sponsored a resolution that would add a referendum on March 2024 primary ballot, asking voters of Chicago should, if they could, should continue being a sanctuary city. Chicago has spent over a hundred million dollars to care for them, arriving way more than that. You gotta be kidding me! A hundred only, only hundred dollars. No, it's a lot more than that. Okay, arriving in a city thanks to JB's open border. Despite the millions in taxpayer dollars, the city remains so overwhelmed that migrants are being housed in police stations and turning O'Hare Airport into a dangerous, filthy, and unsanitary encampment. A packed migrant shelter in Chicago with over 1,800 residences in the O'Hare Airport is experiencing a measles outbreak <laughs> that has prompted the CDC to prevent or to dispatch a team uh, to help the outbreak. Chicago is facing a half a billion dollar budget shortfall in 2024, with more than a third of the shortfall tied to JB's crisis. This, don't stop, stop calling it Biden's border crisis, okay? Any Democrat president would have done the same thing. That's stupid. See, they're trying to make it, they're trying to pin it on just him, like Newsom wouldn't have done the same thing, like Hillary wouldn't have done the same thing, you know? Says there's something that's happening in Chicago. The inner city realizes they have been controlled by dummy crafts for decades and no, nothing has gotten better. Yeah, we told you that a long time ago and you called us white supremacists, including me, by the way. Now they're being sold out and replaced by migrants. Yeah, because they're cheaper. They are done with JB and the open borders. Chicago and many cities across America are turning into DT supporters. Good, good, good. Here's a scene out of here. <laughs> Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, I hope uh, I hope you all continue to talk to each other, okay? And convince one another that the Democrats do not care about any of us, okay? Don't don't feel like it's a racist thing, like they just hate blacks. They hate me too. They hate everyone in my chat, that's for sure, right guys? Put a one in the chat if you know the Democrats hate you. Put a zero if you actually buy their crap, huh? Anyways, thank you, Black Chicagans. Uh, please look for them ballot harvesters to take them out. Uh, and we hope to uh, make things better for you guys. Yeah?